Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team player review slash is this player worth it type video. It's going to be another video on my channel. I do upload these pretty much daily. I didn't do one on Joe Gomez yesterday as I made a different video on the future uh, star SBCs. I am going to be bringing them out very shortly as well. So do stay tuned for that. But they have brought out a Frank Frankie De Jong centre mid card. I'm pretty sure they may have brought an icon out as well. I am going to check. Um, Crespo, wow, yeah, so they, I'm going to bring that out very shortly as well, so they've brought Crespo out, and they've also brought out Frankie De Jong, so it's a 90 rated card, very, very good card, and it's only one requirement, for this one here, it was five requirements, so it, you were expecting quite a lot, 85 rated team, 84 rated team, simple as that, but you know what I mean, but taking a look at this card, obviously 1997, so he's fairly young, 20, 21, 20 years old, around that age, but 82 stamina, he's got an amazing card, he really has. But he is going to be very hard to link. And keep in mind, he's a 5'11 player, which isn't perfect. 5'11, if, if you want to play him at centre mid, then obviously it's more ideal that he is about 6'1, 6'2. But 5'11 11 isn't all bad. But 4-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot. Again, very, very good. Um... His card really is great. 90 rated card. And I'm pretty sure it isn't going to cost you much. Make sure you do check Footbin for the exact price. But you need to submit two Ajax players and a Team of the Week player. And four Eredivisie players. Which is obviously the Netherlands League. And an 85 rated squad. An 85 rated squad for the Icon usually costs around 100,000 coins. Around that mark. So I'm pretty sure this SBC is going to cost you around 110 to 120 k And you're getting a 90 rated player that genuinely is very, very solid but taking a look at how you can get him into a team is a problem of course so this is my team so I just thought I would try this out so if I was to go ahead and complete him maybe play him at CDM um, but as we can see here Frank oh, I'm not going to be able to find it am I if we just type in De Jong maybe it will come up yeah there we go so as you can see here, here is the 90 rated card. So obviously it just wouldn't work for me. It's way too hard to get him into a squad. You'd have to have maybe Virgil van Dijk. And you'd have to have a lot of Holland players. And maybe an icon like Seyduff or, or Hullet. It is going to be extremely hard to get him into a team. You could play him centre attack in mid. But I definitely recommend you to play him CDM or centre mid in a 4 one 2 one 2 It is definitely the best place to play this card. But overall, this card is worth it 100%. I highly recommend you to go ahead and complete it. Even if you are getting the card to submit uh, just to get the card. And then put it on your bench and bring him on at half time in games. And he has, good, he has decent stamina. He has great agility, he's going to be great on the ball, amazing ball control, great dribbling, great composure, good long pass. His card genuinely is very, very good. And as you can see, he has 99 shot power, 96 volleys. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend you to go ahead and complete this SPC. You need any team of the week player, and then you need, obviously, an Ajax player, as you can see here. So if we do go and take a, head, take a look at the Ajax player, I'm pretty sure the highest rated Ajax player is actually not that high rated. So as we can see here, we could use Inform ZH will be a perfect one. He will be going up in price, of course. Um, Taglia Fico, always a good one as well. But the best one to use probably would be like a Daily Blind or just someone like this, an Inform like this. So you just throw him in there. But you need two IX players, keep in mind. So you're going to need two high-rated IX players. And if not two high-rated IX players, then you are going to go ahead and need two lower-rated ones. And then the overall team rating is going to be way higher. Because obviously if you have an 82 rated Z in your squad, then the overall rating for the rest of the... He's already off the market. The overall rating for the rest of the squad is going to be way more expensive. But yeah, make sure you do check Footbin out for sure on how you can actually complete the SBC. I wasn't going to be completing the SBC on the video. I never really do complete them because... I don't think it's worth it throwing all your coins into these SBCs if you're not going to use the card. But I want to bring the content to the channel as well. So I do recommend you to complete the SBC. I highly recommend. I really do. I think it is worth it. Perfect centre mid in a 4 one 2 one 2 Drop a comment down below if you do think it is worth it. And you are going to go ahead and complete it. And also drop a like if it did help you out. I really hope it did. But we are going to have a review slash is the player worth it on Crespo very, very shortly. So make sure you do stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm Frankie De Jong. Make sure you do check my video out on the Future Stars SBC from yesterday if you haven't seen it. We did pack a Future Star player in the player pick, which was huge. But yeah, as I said, that's been it for this video. Hope you did enjoy and peace out.